What's up guys? So today I'm doing something very different from what I usually do. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on kind of how I edit the audio in my videos. I get a lot of nice compliments from people saying that they think my voice sounds really good in the videos and a lot of that comes down to editing and mastering. So I'm going to kind of show you what steps I do to make my audio sound really, really good. So first I'm kind of going to have to explain uh, what video I'm going to make here. I have a stream archive literally from yesterday. You can see 4.8. Today it's 4.9. So literally this is just my stream archive. What I want to do is there's one match that I really enjoyed and I think it's video worthy. It's actually the match where I got ranked up. So we're going to find that in here and we're going to roughly cut it out. So I think that's where I ranked up. We'll just put a cut after that and then we'll go back to the beginning of this match and we can put a cut there. So there's a couple steps that you're going to have to do before you do your stream. Uh, first thing is you're going to have to go in and make sure you have automatically save recording on local drive selected. So I use XSplit. I know a lot of you use OBS, but this setting should exist on both so that when you're live streaming, basically it's recording an MP4 file on your computer at the same time. That's just an archive of the stream. And then the second setting is really important here as well. Create multi-track recording of microphone and system audio. So basically what this is going to do is this stream archive file, this file here that automatically got created by XSplit or OBS, is going to have multiple audio tracks that store the different sort of audio from uh, your recording. So it's going to have one track that's the mixed audio. That's what we're looking at here. That's the first track. It's got another track that is just your voice. And it's got another track that is just the game sounds. So that's what we really want. We want to be able to edit the voice and the game sounds independently. So like if we make any changes to the voice, it doesn't like distort or make the game sounds sound weird. So once you've had this, we're going to edit in Audacity. So something you have to do in Audacity. First of all, if you don't already use Audacity, it's probably the best free audio editing tool. So you should really uh, get acquainted with it because it's going to really make your life a lot better and it's going to make your audio sound really good. So what you have to do in Audacity is go to Edit, Preferences, go down to Libraries, and you're going to need this FFmpeg library. So you can just go here to this download link. It'll take you to this page. Uh, click the FFmpeg installation for whatever your system is. And make sure you get uh, the download page installer here for FFmpeg. It'll go in here and then uh, this one is going to be your option that you want. So download that and unzip it into your kind of Audacity folder. And then once you've done that, click locate. It should automatically find your MPEG libraries. But if not, just click yes here and go to on your computer where you unzip that file. So once you have that, what you can actually do in Audacity is you can import video files, which sounds kind of crazy. So we can import a video file here. And it's going to pull up uh, this selection of what track we want to import. So like I said, the first track is going to be mixed, game and audio mixed together. We don't want that. Second track is just my voice, just my voice recording from the stream. So that's what we really want. The third track is just the gameplay. We're going to want that as well later. This fourth track, I don't even know what this is, but I, I've never messed with this one. You don't need it. So the second one here, the voice, that's what we care about. So we're going to import it. And this is going to take forever because uh, my computer is having to kind of split its attention between, uh, you know, recording this video and importing this at the same time. So I'll just skip to the end here. Okay, so there is our entire uh, voice track for the entire stream archive imported. You can listen to it if you really want. Ready? And then I rank up again and I rank down again. So yeah, that's just our raw voice. Uh, so we're going to apply some effects to this to make it sound better. So we could apply it to the whole track, but that would take a really long time. So really all we want is this little section that we cut out earlier. So what I like to do is open up notepad and write down the start and end times here. Uh, 19, 21, 23. Is that right? 21, 13 to... 31, 10, 23. Okay, so we have that. So we're going to go in here and we're going to set our start times to be the same here. 19, 21, 13 to 
3110.23. So this is our section that we're going to want to be editing. I'm just going to cut and paste that here. So here is neutral. The thing is like kind of our raw voice just for this section that we want to work with. So I'm going to do some editing here. I am not like an audio expert by any means. I'm just a guy who makes YouTube videos, but these are the settings that I like to do because I think it makes the videos sound really good. So the first thing we're going to do is noise reduction. What you want to do is select a part of the track where your voice is not present, just an empty part. It can just be a few seconds long. Do effect noise reduction, get noise profile. So what this does is basically it isolates kind of that background sound in your voice track, whether you have like your AC on or your window open or your refrigerator's running or whatever, and that's getting picked up. Uh, we're going to be able to filter that out from the entire track so that people don't hear that kind of background noise all the time. So now we go effect repeat noise reduction, and that's just going to apply this to the whole track. So this just takes a few seconds, so we'll skip through all of these progress bars, I think. Okay, there we go. And keep in mind, if we were doing this to the entire three hour long archive, that would take a really long time. So that's why I cut and pasted just this little sort of 10 minute section here. So uh, noise reduction. Next, I like to do equalization and I have it on bass boost. So basically, this is just going to make your voice bassier. I think a lot of microphones tend to have a pretty tinny sound. And if you want that sort of public radio, like deep, soothing voice sound, I think bass boost is the way to go. So we're going to apply this. There we go. And then I like to do compressor. So compressor is basically just going to louden everything to kind of uh, the highest volume that we kind of want, the highest volume that isn't going to like blow out people's speakers. And the reason for that is that we don't want to create a situation where like, say, my YouTube videos are really quiet, but other people's YouTube videos are really loud. So they turn up their volume when they're listening and then their ears get blown out when a different video plays. So we're just going to apply compressor to kind of in louden everything and, uh, you know, get the full volume out of these somewhat quiet right now, actually, uh, voice areas here. So after we do compressor, I like to do limiter. So if there's any like really big peaks that are like, you know, going above the red line, limiter is going to smooth those out so people don't go deaf or so it doesn't sound like bad or crackly. And then the last thing I like to do is normalize. Uh, and normalize is just going to kind of equalize the quiet and the loud parts of this track. So if there's some parts that are quiet and some parts that are loud, it's going to kind of average them basically so that, uh, again, there's not like weird situations where people turn up the volume for one part and then they go deaf later. So our voice should hopefully sound a lot better. But now. as for what's my favorite like pasta dish? It should sound pretty much like the voice you're hearing now. So <laughs> we have that. Let's export it. I'm going to call it tutorial voice. This is actually the second take of this video. So that's why I have this one already. We are going to export it as tutorial voice. This is all fine. We don't care about the metadata. Boom. So now we're also going to cut out the game audio as well. Because if we just put this voice track on top of the track we already have, uh, basically you're going to hear the voice twice. It's going to sound weird and echoey, so we don't want that. So we'll just get the game sound here. Like I mentioned, the third track here is just going to be sort of the system sound that was recorded in the stream archive. So we'll get that. It's going to take a little bit. Okay, so here's our game sound. Uh, we don't really want to do any editing to this because we don't want it to sound weird. We want it to sound like the game that the people are used to hearing. So all we're really going to do here is edit this down to that same section as before. You know, just to save time on sort of the export process here. So we can cut and paste that again. Export tutorial gameplay. Okay. So now we have our voice track edited. We have our audio track. We have a bunch of extra audacity windows we don't need. So now let's get to editing. So since we don't care about this first and last chunk of the stream archive, we can just focus on this little section that we're working with. Let's import those two new files here that we just exported. We'll throw them on here. So generally, you are going to have to line these up a little bit. They're not going to perfectly sync once the waveforms start showing up. 
uh, we can kind of eyeball that and make it sound good. Okay, so you can see that our our mixed track here is a little bit behind, so I'll just scooch this over a tiny bit, and we can test if they're perfectly lined up. It's like, the thing is like, so yeah, here you can you hear that my voice is kind of doubled up, so that's why we have to do both the game volume and the voice. So now that we've got that lined up nicely, we can just move our cursor here, scoot these over so they're all lined up, and uh, Real quick, I'm just going to copy and paste this so we can do a comparison, a side-by-side -side of what this sounds like versus what this is going to sound like with our edited audio. So uh, what you can do is you can just mute this track if you want. The thing is, like, you can't really practice neutral in training mode. You can just mute it, but what I like to do is I like to unlink them, just delete this audio track, and then put the game volume up here, and then link these. So now basically if I do any edits here, the game audio and this video are going to be attached so that I can edit them at the same time. But anyway, I'm not going to go through the whole editing process for this video. That's probably a separate video. So first, just so we can hopefully hear the difference in the audio, I'm going to play, this is the pre-edited audio. This is basically just what people heard during the live stream. So let's hear how that sounds. My favorite type of noodle, I believe is Cavatappi. I might be wrong about what that's called, but you know the thing that's like macaroni, but it's like little corkscrews? I love that pasta. That's one of my favorite kinds of pasta. Okay, so that sounds like okay, I think. Uh, the only things I really take issue are I think the game volume is probably a little loud relative to the loudness of my voice. And also it's just a little bit like tinny to me. It doesn't quite have that deep, punchy, like beautiful sound that I really like. Uh, you know, that sort of NPR sound like I mentioned earlier. So let's try to find the same place in this video and we can hear what that sounds like. My favorite type of noodle, I believe, is cavatappi. I might be wrong about what that's called, but you know the thing that's like macaroni, but it's like little corkscrews? I love that pasta. That's one of my favorite kinds of pasta. So yeah, I just think it sounds a lot better with the editing stuff. I don't know, maybe it's <laughs> a little bit in my head, I'm not sure, but to me it just sounds way punchier, way like, you know, smoother, uh, more pleasing to the ears, and I think the balance of the gameplay to voice is a little bit better. So just having this complete independent control afterwards is really nice, plus if there's any parts of the game that are like deafening, deafeningly loud, I can independently edit those to be a little bit quieter, so yeah, uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Like I said, I don't really have any sort of training in this. I'm not any kind of audio engineer. I'm just doing what I've found to be good settings to make your voice sound better. So if you guys have better suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments or correct me about anything I'm doing wrong. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. And hopefully if you're an aspiring YouTuber or someone who just likes to create content, hopefully this will help you out. So uh, that's going to be it, guys, and I will see you in the next one.